In the previous video, we saw how to create a simple box plot in Excel, or box and whisker chart, and this time we're going to show the averages in the box plot. So for the east and west, there'll be a dot that shows where the average sales number is. To do that, we're going to add a new row in this source data so we can calculate the average. I'm going to select these four cells, and on the Home tab, I'll click Insert, and that puts in new cells. So in this cell, I'll type Average as my label, and here I want to calculate the average for the East sales. So in this cell, type Equals, Average, open bracket, and then I'll select the East sales numbers, close the bracket, and press Enter. And to get the West, I'll select this cell and copy it across. So those are the averages, and now we want to get those into the chart. I'm going to select the label and the two numbers and copy them. So I'll press Control C to copy. Then I'll select the chart, and I want to paste those into the chart as a new series. So on the Home tab, I'll click the drop down arrow for Paste, click Paste Special, and in this dialog box, it has pre selected new series. So that's what I want. My values are in rows. It's across a row here. The series name, average, is in the first column. And I'll click OK. And average has been added as another bar. I'm going to click on that. And I want to change the chart type. So I'll right click and change series chart type. That opens up this dialog box. Combo chart is selected. So I'm going to look for my series here. So here's average. And for that one, I don't want stacked column. I want a line chart with markers. So I'll click that, click OK. And now there's my average, but it's got that line, which I don't want. So I'm going to select it. And under Chart Tools, I'll click Format, Format Selection. So for the color, the line, I want no line. I'll click to close that. And there's a dot for the average. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.